Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. This uh, video is actually going to be your um, your console setup video. So basically, you purchase the console from me, and you know you're going to set it up, and you're not really you're not really sure what to do because you know it's your first RGH, and um, you know this video is going to kind of help you and try to explain some things to you. So you know, hopefully, you watch it all. Uh, the first thing I want to say is I made a video like this before and um, that was when I was using a stealth server called uh, Real Nigga Stealth and I'm not using it anymore, I'm not the owner of it and I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, what is this on my computer? Anyway. Okay, so um, I made a video like that and you know I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm making a new one because it's more updated and um so a few things i want to say if you look in the description so i'd recommend you to like look right now in the description there there will be a few things there and there will be like you know how to load your games properly how to put a kv on how to you know whatever that's there maybe there's um some issues you might run into and maybe there's something there to help you fix it um, you know, if you just click on it, you can read about it and, you know, all the information there is posted by me. So, um, you know, it's not like a scam or nothing like that. So, um, this is just a Star Wars console, you know, if you bought a Slim or a Fat, it's all the same. Um, uh, well, not exactly the same, you know, there's different consoles with, uh, you know, some are more reliable, some are not. Um, but, you know, it, they all work the same way. Um. A lot of people a lot of people say coronas are better or they're actually worse than trinities that's what they say but that's not true don't even listen to that there the reason why people say that is because they coronas are harder to rgh and um they just don't like them so because they can't rgh them but i can so i like them and they're actually they actually sometimes boot faster than um than trinities do so i think i kind of like coronas a little bit more but um what I'm going to go into is uh, when you first get your console and most likely you bought mod menus and stuff like that, um, I would recommend you to, um, after you watch this video, uh, you know, you're going to have to go down in the description, you're going to have to read the description and you're going to click on those links and those links will tell you what to do. This video is not going to explain like every single thing, you know, but uh, I'm gonna try to make videos and you know I'll just once I make videos and stuff like that and more updates I'll post it in the description below so this is kind of this is gonna be like the the main video in a way uh, that's how my other video is right now but I'm not I might delete that one or something and just you know use this one from now on which is mo most likely in my plan anyway enough of me talking about that um so I bought the stealth server uh, what a stealth server is, is it actually makes your console work and go online. And, you know, this is not a retail console like this one over here. This one, you know, it'll go online. It's fine. It's not a modded Xbox. This one over here is a modded Xbox. Not just because it looks cool. Um, it has a chip installed. And it's called an RGH. And, you know, there's different types of um, installs and stuff like that. So different types of chips, different um, glitch methods and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the RGH2 Corona V3. Um, sometimes when dashboard updates come out, uh, you're going to have to update your console with a thing called XE Build. Now, um, I'd recommend you to, uh, I'll probably post a link in the description explaining more about that. But um, yeah, you're just going to... Um, click that link and read about it and uh, you can't just take your console online and update it like normal because uh, you know Microsoft they don't want you to have this so um, you can't just take it online and expect it to work the same way there's a lot of stuff involved into this stuff and um, so yeah uh, one thing I one other thing I want to say before I start getting into stealth servers um, if you bought a hard drive from me with your console, 
then it's already set up. You don't have to like install a bunch of stuff and watch all my other videos and install all the games and everything like that. Like if you bought my menus and a hard drive from me, um, you know, everything is done. So, um, you know, don't even worry about installing different things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let me move some of this stuff. Anyway, um, so what you have to do when you turn your console in and you're trying to work, get it to work online is, uh, it requires a few things. The one thing you need, the, the main thing you need is a stealth server. If you don't have a stealth server, then you cannot go online at all. Why? Because a stealth server is what makes your, makes your console work online and it, um, it makes your console look legit. So, um, some stealth servers are better than others. Ninja right now is the best server there is. And um, you're not really going to find a better one. They're, they're really expensive, which is um, the bad thing about it. But if you look at it, it's it's like $2.90 a day. So you can look at it that way. So, you know, if you're making more than $2.90 a day, then you're making a profit. So, um but it's like $90 for a month, which is like really expensive, but, um, you know, it's worth it because you don't have to buy KVs. And what a KV is, is basically a, um, it's basically your, your console. Um, if you don't have a, the KV is actually what, uh, gets your disk drive to work. It tells your console, it tells, uh, Microsoft that your console's online and stuff like that. And every KV has a serial number, which your serial, can, your serial number can be found right in there. And um, every KV has a serial number. So, uh, say if you like right now, there's um, this console has a flash KV to it. So the KV is flashed to the NAND. And um, there's other methods that you can use a KV, like just putting it on the hard drive and stuff like that. But uh, this one is it's, it has original KV on it still, and it's flashed. And you know, there's two methods to put a KV on and stuff like that uh, and um, so when you put a, another KV on um, it actually changes the serial number and all that stuff so you know it's telling Microsoft that it's a different console so you know when your when your console gets banned it bans the KV and it, the self server and the KVs are two different things by the way because I have a lot of people asking about that they are two different things. The self, the stealth servers will get your console online, and the KV is actually your your console itself. So, um, you guys gotta get those two things straight. Um, hopefully, you can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, but so if you switch your KV, it's going to change your console pretty much. So that one KV gets banned. The Microsoft, you know, they obviously know it's banned. So if you try to take it online. With the banned KV, it's gonna pop up, say it's banned, okay? So you put another KV on that's unbanned, and then it tells Microsoft, oh, this, this console is, you know, it's not banned, and so they allow it to come online. Does that make sense? So hopefully it does. Um, so yeah, if your console gets banned, you're gonna need a KV, which, if you look in the description, though, there will be KV sellers down there. Um, they're about like $7, and you know, as I said before, some stealth servers are better than others. So I would highly recommend you to study on which stealth server is better. Um, you know, there could be other ones that are similar to Ninja. But, um, you know, if you look at it, like say if there's a, a cheap uh, cheap stealth server, but it, it doesn't have a good KV life like Ninja does, um, you know, your KV could be getting banned really fast. And, um, you know, the stealth server might look cheaper, but you're still going to have to be putting money into the KV. So, you know, they're about $7 a piece or, you know, depending who you buy from. Um, you know, so you're still going to be spending a lot of money just in KVs. So, um, you know, just make sure you get the right server. You don't have to use Ninja, but that's what I'm, be, that's what I'm going to be putting on my consoles. So, um... I think that's about it right now. If you guys want to look up how to use mod tools, go to my other videos, stuff like that. I'm going to be trying to post some more videos like that and posting how to install games and mod menus and stuff like that. 
I have just about everything on my channel, so go look at those. Um, so what we're going to do is I want to kind of explain some more stuff to you. When, when you first get your console and you turn it on, um, you know, this one, I don't know, it might boot it. Yeah, actually it actually insta it this time. Um, it's going to, it actually, it act, might actually restart one time, that's normal. If it doesn't, then you know, it's fine. Um, hopefully you bought a console from me, not somebody else. Uh, if you bought it from somebody else, then um, you might have to install a bunch of stuff. But as you can see, my, um, my console already has Ninja on it. And it says connect it to live. Um, anyway, so you don't need to sign into a profile. Um, you're not going to get this. You're going to get something that says, uh, it's going to be a pop-up just like this, but it's not going to have the same stuff. It's going to say uh, Ninja expired, and it'll say go to contact, you know. It'll tell you who to contact and stuff like that. Um, so... Once you do that, just click click the uh, pop-up, click OK, and then you're, it'll take you to this screen, and it'll say connect to Xbox Live right here. It won't have all these ads. Um, and then you're going to press the guide button, and it should look like this. And right down here where it says ninja time remaining, it'll say zero for all of them right there. And uh, if you go all the way over to this, and then ninja token and then click redeem token and then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go on your computer and you're going to uh, type in uh, let's see xbls dot ninja so something like that okay so just click enter and then it'll pull up their website And, you know, it'll give you a good, um, they actually, uh, they didn't have MWT all posts, actually, so, uh, that's actually brand new right now, so that's pretty awesome. So they have a MWT all post menu. Um, so yeah, it'll give you all the details and stuff like that. Um, they have a GTA 5 menu installed with this. Uh, it's the beta right now, so you'll have to purchase that separately once it's, you know, the full version. And, um, this is actually where you can get the, uh, where did it go? The XE build. And so, you know, what? I t you remember what I told you guys about the, uh, updating your console online? That's where you can get the XE build at. And, let's see. So, yeah, 11 months and counting. That's, that's really good. And I'm pretty sure they have more users than this. Um, yeah, number one rated server. That's most likely true. Um, they're never offline. So, $90. So you would go here and you're going to have to purchase a token. If you don't purchase a token and redeem it on the Xbox, then I'd recommend you to go to somebody else to get a server. There's uh, a lot of other people that sell servers. You have like um, Calvin, he sells real nigga stealth. And then you have um, XBL Despair, which he sells uh, Advocate Live. And then you have Rip Robbie, who sells OG stealth and all that stuff. You know, there's a lot of people. Uh, if you want to find a good server or something like that that you can afford, just go to YouTube and just type in, um, you know, Xbox, or actually, Stealth Server, and then type in the dashboard version, which the latest one is 17502, and, um, you know, there's, the there will be free ones. Sorry, I, I can't talk. But, um, uh, there's free ones that you can use. Um, you know, just read on them, stuff like that. Uh, mostly, I'd re like if you click on a video, just say you click on this one. And there's a lot of dislikes. 
I wouldn't recommend you to use it because it's most likely fake or it's not good or something like that. So make sure it has a lot of likes. Uh, that's usually how you tell if something's real or fake on YouTube. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of servers that are out. So yeah, just go there. Uh, if you're going to purchase Ninja, then just, you know, purchase one of these. Click on that, add it to cart, pay for it. And um, if you need help, if you want to pay with PayPal, why did it take me out? If you want to pay with PayPal message, uh, this guy right here on AIM. He re I bought Ninja for uh, my friend Kara and myself and uh, they replied, he replied like instantly. So, you know, he's like always sitting there. I don't think on Saturdays or Sundays though, so just through the weekdays. So, um, yeah, message him. He will be there and he can take your money through PayPal and give you all that good stuff and then there will be a automated email that will be sent to your email provided with PayPal and or whatever you paid with and then you can take that token that you got and redeem it right there so um once you guys do that and redeem the token it should restart your console one time and then you can boot it back up and you know you should be online uh one thing I want to try if you guys can't actually connect to Xbox Live, what I want to try to tell you guys is you go to System, then you go to Network, and you're going to click on, if you have wired or wireless, don't matter, click on one of them, whatever one you're using, and click Configure Network, and right here you're going to click uh, go all the way down to restore defaults. Actually, over here on basic, you're going to click RB, sorry. And then go down to restore default. And that's only if you have issues like, um, if it, if it were to say, like, failed, like, right here. And, you know, it, so it would have passed these two. And then right here, it would say failed. So if, if it does that, then just go to the configure thing and restore it to default. Um, up here, if it says... Uh, failed right here in the middle one then that's something with your Xbox itself it's not um, it's not actually it actually it could be your internet actually too but it's most likely your Xbox something with dash launch um, or something on your hard drive blocking it from connecting uh, if it fails right here and then it says something like uh, blocked and failed or, or you know failed and blocked whatever one if it says block on one of these, then that means in Dash Launch you have um, Live Block and Live Strong enabled and you have to disable them. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys a little bit. Um, if it doesn't say the failed and blocked up at the top right, then go to the Configure Network and just, um, you know, restore it to defaults like I showed you. Um, one more thing I want to show you guys. You go all the way to games, and then this is how you'll load XCX menu pretty much. And so, right here, you just click RB. These, this is actually all your games right here, but if you click on them, usually you'll fatal crash, so you don't want to click on them. Just click RB. And then these are all your folders. I'll have some other stuff that you guys want to actually see on your console. But um, most of the stuff you should have. Um, if you go into one setup files, that will be like, that's kind of like all your backup files in a way. So Aurora, that's actually a thing where you can like, it's kind of like XEX menu in a way, but it's a different version of it and I, I can't really explain it it's not actually xx menu but it's like it has other stuff so, as well um you can look up a video for that dash launch is what i was talking about that's like how you control your rgh and where you can edit the fan speed and you can edit um like the online settings and stuff like that and like if you don't have dash launch you can't go online at all freestyle dash i'm sure you guys have heard about that a lot that's actually a custom dashboard and you can also use link and other cool stuff. 
Um, simple 360 NAND flasher is what you're going to use to um, update your console and read your NAND and write your NAND and stuff like that. Um, that's uh, another video you guys can look up. XM360 is, I haven't really told you guys much information about this at all, but XM360 is actually um, something you use to uh, unlock DLC content or uh, downloaded games and stuff like that. Um, the bad thing about XM360 is you can't unlock DLC content and then put it on a retail console and then you know expect it to expect you to use it for you know every profile. It's only for RGH. So um, you guys can look up a video for that as well and do some research on it. Um, you're really not going to worry about these other folders. Um, if you guys ever need to like put a update in a um, in a games folder or something, and you can't use Horizon, if you guys don't know what Horizon is, uh, look that up. Um, but like you would go into content folder, and go into one of these, and these are actually all your DLC contents for each game. So like say this one, actually wait, this one right here is actually Black Ops 2. So if you go into this one, and then this folder right there and that's actually your title update so you know that's one way you can actually put a title update in your games it's just about the same for every game but um uh you guys you guys can actually look up if you if you want to, to learn how to load the mod menus and stuff go to the description and click the links in there and it'll show you guys how to load the mod menus and stuff like that and hopefully I'll have that all updated today. And um, so yeah, these are some games that I pro or actually mod menus that I can provide for you guys if you purchase from me. So um, yeah, guys, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, these are just other plugins, stuff like that. So. Um, if you guys would like to learn how to install a stealth server or something like that, go to the link in the description and it'll tell you guys all that good stuff. So, um, I hope this got, I hope this video actually helps you out got a lot because you know I put a lot of time into this. And um, if you if you purchase from me, then I really appreciate you guys purchasing from me. And um, I really appreciate everybody. And I appreciate everything you guys do for me and support me and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah guys, you have a great week and, you know, hit me up on Kick if you need any help or anything like that. Peace out.